today we're checking out the Lander Effect Suite. It includes five plugins for mixing, such as acoustic, electric, bass, beats, and voice. I'll demonstrate this in real life scenarios where you would use these plugins for their specific use. I definitely want to hear for you guys in the comment section if you like it or not. Link will be in the description box and there is a seven day free trial. Let's take a look at the Lander Effects Beats. I'm gonna play the track real quick so you can hear it without it. And we're gonna affect the snare. So I'm gonna drop it into the project. Just gonna double tap. And as you can see, and you can hear it a little bit, it, it's doing something right now. But the first thing I wanna do is just resize this because it is resizable. Uh, it isn't vectoral, but it does resize, so you can see the UI, it looks pretty nice, very simple. And we'll talk more about that later. Now I'm gonna go through some of the presets so you can hear them on the snare. So I like that, let's uh, drop that into the beat and then we'll talk more about tweaking it. So you can tweak it right here uh, using this knob, which is the mount. So that is the original when you go all the way to the left and this is fully affected. Click on the parameters too, and it will reset it. So that snare, to me, when I listen to it in mono, it's, it does sound like it's a little behind the music. And one of the things about my production is I like the snare to snap, uh, hence right, this right here. I'm gonna take the effect out. Let's focus on the snare here. It is ultimately because it's being affected by a reverb sim simultaneously. And by bringing it to like 50%, you can hear it a little bit more. So I think the, the best idea for some of the simple presets in there is to keep it around like 8.7. It depends, but just keep it lower. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll, I'll keep that on but I'm gonna to go to the 808 that you can hear in the track. Let's hear that solo. And now let's apply or take away a, there we go, go to the bass. Decent tip that I wanna say is this right here. If you have the ability to check the signal in mono, make sure that you check the signal in mono so that you're not losing anything uh, in the mid section. And that's very important for uh, you know signal flow when you listen to it on like mono speakers or just like cheaper devices or whatnot. All right, let's resize this real quick. Go to the presets. Like I found the preset that I like. And that's kind of the charm of like Lander effects. I see that it's not that complex, very focused on applying an amount and finding a preset that fits 
your criteria, uh, which is basically what most people do anyways. They're not, they're not going to tweak on a whole bunch of parameters. And that's also the point of the lander effects too, is to keep things very simple. So you could just basically just go about your business and just rely on something, get some music out. And there's plenty of options in terms of your presets. And that's a plus. And there's also something else I will say. I'll wait until later. New track pulled up and I want to test out acoustic on like the claps of this track right here. Let's pull up acoustics real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's dial down a little bit. Now let's go through some of the other presets real quick. So what I'm going to do is bring back the bass plugin so I can mess with the bass in this house track. Let's hear the original. And this is more so about controlling tone. Let's hear that with the track. So I have these vocals here. Diamond shining, need a parachute. They can't see I'm high behind the front. And it's clear like it needs a little bit more work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out Lander Effects voice. So I have a vocal group together, and what I'm gonna do is just work with the Pop Diva preset. So let's hear it with Pop Diva on. Diamond shining, need a parachute. They can't see I'm high behind the front. Now let's hear that without the effect on it. Diamond shining, need a parachute. They can't see I'm high behind the front. Now let's blend it into those vocals. Diamond shining, need a parachute. They can't see I'm high behind the front. Draw my top and you see out of space. Feeling like I'm raging, I need whiskey on the way. Now, just from that one preset, I like it a little bit, but what I'm going to do is just go through the other presets so you can hear that. Diamond shining, need a parachute. Uh, they can't see I'm high behind the frame. Draw my top and you see out of space. Like I'm raging, I need whiskey on the way. My opinion, it's okay. And here's the reason why. So what I'm gonna do is drop this and I will pull up CLA vocals. And that's where I will talk about a few things as far as comparisons. So CLA vocal, we already know what that is. It's a whole meme. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go back and forth between Lander's voice and that. Diamond shining, need a parachute. Uh, they can't see I'm high behind the frames. Draw my top and you see out of space. Feeling like I'm raging, I need whiskey on the way. All right, now let's hear Lander effects. Diamond shining, need a parachute. Uh, they can't see I'm high behind the frames. Draw my top and you see out of space. Feeling like I'm raging, I need whiskey on the way. 
love with the drugs, they help me make it through the day. So it's not bad for uh, a vocal chain plugin. I've tested it before and I thought to myself like, ah, uh, there's some things that I like about it. Uh, one of the things, if I just play it one more time, you'll hear the massive amount of reverb on it. And then that's where the question of uh, the ability to control other effects come in. Diamond shining, need a pair of shades. They can't see I'm high behind these frames. Drop my top and you see out of space. Feeling like I'm raging, I need whiskey on the way. So I like it. I like it a lot. It does have its place. I like the new kind of sense of highs in the vocal. Uh, maybe not matching so much of a male vocal would, that it would a female vocal. Hence the name Pop Diva. That's where I see like CLA kind of shining in that regard. But it's not a fair comparison to be honest. But I would like to see some adjustments to certain presets. And then, yeah, that means that I would like more parameters, right? So if we talk about the price point of the Lander Effects Suite, it is $99 for all of the plugins, all five. And that's permanently. Let me repeat, permanently like that. The Lander Effects Voice is $29 by itself, as well as the other plugins if you buy them separately. Even though it's not a fair comparison, I would still say that the CLA Vocals is a very good plugin. However, it is $59. So if you're about value for your dollar, then you will have to weigh in what is a priority between which plugin and if you have the money or not. I'm just saying. Ironically, Wave sells a similar package called the One Knob series, and it is $89.99, but that is not permanent. So yeah. If pricing is a thing, and if you get tired of missing out on sales, you might want to consider uh, which plugins that you're going to get, especially in this video, because you never know. Uh, pricing will change every time on Waves Audio. And that's not a, t a personal attack on Waves, but I just want to point out the obvious there. But again, $89.99 right now, but it normally sells for $179.98. So it's pretty safe to say that the Lander Effect Suite is at a pretty good value for the price point. Do I, do I, do I give, this give this the stamp of approval? Given its ease of use, the UI, and the presets, I would say about 80%.